what I'd like to do now is um, we're going to move over now from arrays to next-gen sequencing, and Doug Hurd's going to talk about the work that we've been doing on copy number calling from next-gen sequencing. So, Doug. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, okay. So um, this talk is going to focus, I'll just give a very brief overview to OGT. Um, James has already done that, but I'll just go over that. And then our progress in uh, our sort of work on um, trying to do CMV detection with uh, next generation sequencing and confirming with um, exon targeted arrays. And our initial work was with um, Duchenne muscular dystrophy samples. And we've now, um, which is our sort of ultimate aim, is to um, be able to detect um, CNVs um, by using a familiar hypercholesterolemia um, NGS panel. So, focus on that. So, moving on to uh, just a quick overview, as James already sort of outlined, we have three areas, uh, three technologies that we uh, use at OGT. There's the um, fish, which we sell lots of um, fish probes in the sort of hematological area and the constitution area. Um, we also, of course, as, as you've seen from Dom, do a lot of array CGH and uh, under the site of Shore Brown. And um, the area which we're sort of focusing from an R&D perspective is on the uh, next generation sequencing panels. Um, but this talk will really focus on, on basically our array CGH and our exon targeted arrays, um, which we have um, the labeling kit and the software. And then on the NGS panels, we um, you know, we supply um, baits in particular for cancer at the moment, but we, we're working very much on the sort of constitutional side as well, um, along with NGS library prep kits and software as well. So um, firstly, on our Exxon targeted arrays, um, we designed these in collaboration with Emery, and um, they basically have um, tar targeted probes within the exons um, of uh, various uh, genes of interest. Um, and we couple that with um, our, our very popular Sightshore interpret software. Again, you saw lots of screenshots from, um, from DOM, which, which show how powerful it is uh, to do the, um, the calling, and it has all sorts of features um, in it. Um, our, our NGS method, though, um, what we is, is basically a bait capture method. We've uh, so we do the DNA fragmentation and then we combine the end repair and 3 uh, prime A tailing along with the ligation sort of in, in one, essentially, with just a change of temperature, uh, which then goes on to a PCR and then um, we do the bait hybridization followed by the PCR and, and onto the sequencing. So we, ex we really focus very much on the Illumina platform, which is you know, the most popular one, um, and we supply all those reagents in a kit um, the short seat library prep kit, and we worked extremely hard on, um, you know, on our bait design. So we've taken a lot of our knowledge from our arrays, designing probes for arrays, and put that into our baits. So again, we do the similar sort of thing: repeat masking, checking the TM, looking at the secondary structure of the GC before we actually um, come up with our baits, and we then empirically optimize our baits, and we we will then uh, select the best ones. So the combination of a lot of work on the library prep kit and also our, 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 our bait optimization um, gives us very even coverage across the excellence, and I'll show you that. And I think as a consequence of you know high target with um, high coverage at the target sites, as well as uh, good um, even coverage, means we're hoping that we can detect um, CMVs as well as SMVs um, using the NGS panels. So um, to sort of mirror our Site Assure interpret um, software, we also, um, for our NGS panels, we supply um, a SureSeq um, next generation sequencing data analysis platform. Again, this is um, free of charge, and it will take the fast queues, uh, give you a QC report, do the SMV detections, and all, all that good stuff. So for the purpose of this talk, I was just going to define what CNV detection is. So um, we're very much, um, obviously, have SMVs down the bottom and then indels is 1 to 50. But the area we're sort of focusing for the um, FH panel is really this kind of small CMV. So it's, it's exon level and um, up to whole gene level is what we're looking at. We're not really looking um, at large ones um, for these particular panels. 
So um, why is that important? Well, there's certainly um, you know, various um, conditions um, do um, the pathogenic aberration can certainly be uh, a gain or a loss as opposed to a point mutation, and it varies according to the uh, condition. I mean, Duchenne muscular dystrophy obviously has very high frequency of gains or losses as the pathogenic aberration. Other, other ones have much less. So um, the first sort of area we looked at really just to kind of try and validate our, our approach was to just use um, DMD um, samples because there's a lot available. So DMD is obviously on the X chromosome and it's very large with 79 exons. So we designed an array um, so that, well, we already had an array available um, as part of our sort of molecular um, uh, range, um, which had probes across the whole DMD <laughs> gene, and it's on an 8 by 60 k format, and we designed that in co collaboration with the Emory group. And then for the NGS, we applied our sort of our, our bait design technology to, do, to design baits across all the exons of the DMD gene. Um, and so for this sort of initial experiments, we, we just looked at 17 samples of which we know we had 15 of known CMVs, and they were a mix of males, females, gains and losses. And we ran those on the, ar on the array um, and detected the gain and losses, and then we ran them on the uh, NGS and attempted to detect the same gains and losses as well. So our arrays, um, we're obviously... Uh, we like arrays very much, and we're very familiar with running them. So um, these are the uh, are just a selection of six fairly random ones, which um, just show the uh, the DMD gene with the various exons, and we've got nice detection of both um, in the males and the females and the gains and losses. Um, so that was that's nice. On the when we ran the N NGS, so we run run this on the um, mice, and we ran 24 samples at one time, and this is just a selection. Um, this actually shows our sort of QC report, which comes out of our software. Uh, but I'm just going to highlight the key areas. So we, we, we have very low duplication rates. Remember, this is a very targeted panel, so duplication can be high. Um, uh, but we also have very nice high target coverage as well. So we're up at the sort of, you know, certainly hundreds of um, coverage. When we... Um, just look at the comparison between the array data and the um, next generation sequencing data. Remember, it's exon targeted on the NGS, so we'll only call the actual individual exons. Um, but you can see here the DMD gene with the various exons in blue. This is just IGB. And we have um, this is the call for all the losses. And so you've got here the exons being called loss, and this is the, the, the red bar is basically the call from the array. So we've got really nice um, concordance all the way around, uh, along with all these samples of these 31. I've put down here, it just indicated um, whether the samples were male or female. Obviously, that's important given it's uh, an X chromosome in the gene. Um, so we've got really nice concordance between the NGS CMV calls and the array data. And we did a similar thing um, with the, the uh, the gains as well. So again, these are male, female indicators here. And here again, we've got really nice, you know, we could call on the NGS in this sort of light blue. In, in comparison to the array, we've got very nice concordance there. So that was looking nice. So we then moved on to look at some familiar hypercholesterolemia um, <coughs> samples. So um, familiar hypercholesterolemia is um, characterized by a very high LDL. Um, levels and you know it's a real problem which causes um, early onset um, coronary artery disease and I think the uh, the rate that, uh, about one in five hundred although I think it actually might be a bit higher I was just looking at some posters today it could be up to sort of one in two hundred and fifty individuals do have familiar hypercholesterolemia and um, you know it is treatable certainly in the sort of heterozygous by um, by statins um, and it's got the other nice thing we like about it is it's got very well characterized um, point mutations. And about 10% of those mutations are due to um, CNVs. So really, you have to run the MLPA as well as the sequence if you, you want to make, to ensure that you detect all these as well. So we think it's got, you know, it's 
nice one for our NGS panel to go for. So in this, um, where we are at the moment is um, we've run, um, in this particular experiment, we ran 48 samples of which um, roughly uh, the sort of 10% level, as, as you normally find, are um, CMBs. We ran them blind. So we ran them differently in that we ran the NGS samples first and then we detected the gains and losses and then we confirmed the positives with the rate of CGH. And that's sort of our ultimate gate, um, sort of aim for this um, panel is to, to uh, do the, gate, uh, the CMV detection with NGS and then use the array for confirmation. Um, so our FH panel, um, it gives us very high coverage on a MySeq. Um, and the, the, these are the four genes which really everybody seems to want in the FH field. But um, we, we have been talking to people and uh, there are, as always, very different opinions about other genes which could be included. So we're going to approach this as a kind of customizable panel so that people can add in these particular genes and um, SNPs if they want to. But the, the, the current panel is small, it's only 25 KB. So we ran um, all these samples. I mean, say we've run all these samples and, and checked on the, uh, the the SMVs, and we've got very high concordance. But looking at the sort of QC uh, report again, we get, as I say, um, the duplication is generally pretty well, pretty low, and we have very nice, very high um, target coverage, which gives us a nice chance to detect um, CMV. And these are 24 were run on a, a on a MIC. Um, our, we designed an FH array um, specifically for this. So again, we did the same old thing, thing with our pro design um, in terms of uh, making sure that that was all good. Now um, we, we designed it on an eight by 15 and it's, it's an exon um, array. So the probes are all targeted on the ex, exon. And we put all the possible FH uh, genes um, were targeted at the exon level that we thought of. Um, so, yeah, apologies for this. So this is some of all the, uh, the particular samples. These are, 20, uh, I think, half of them along here. And then these are all the um, particular exons. And we look at the read depth. And essentially, we, we try and call uh, on, on the basis of the read depth. So if we see anything which um, is either uh, a gain or a loss, it will, will uh, go over a particular threshold. Uh, and we would colour that as red if it's a definite gain uh, loss and green if it's a definite uh, gain. And these are the other set of samples here. So, um, and you can see here we, we, we called essentially five very strongly as losses. And what was quite, so this one has got, uh, I think that's five exons, three, two, two. And this one was quite interesting because it's kind of over the, um, uh, it's had two deletions. And what was quite interesting was that we called this, this these were called um, securely, and then this one seemed to approach the um, threshold, but didn't actually reach the threshold, and we'll come on to that later. So again, doing the same thing as we did for the, um, uh, uh, for the DMD, we looked at uh, you know, the array data w with um, this uh, red bar, positioning it here, and then we called the um, exons with these pur purple bars. You can see the coverage in IGV, and it, it, because we have such nice even coverage as a consequence of our um, library pet kit and also our, um, our nice um, uh, uh, bait design, um, you can even really call them by eye, but we did call them on the basis of the algorithm. Uh, so that was nice. And this just shows the um, confirmation that we did with the um, array CGH, which uh, really confirmed very nicely. NGS data, and again that, that sample as well, and that one as well. And then the other two samples, again we had, uh, this one was quite interesting because if you, you can see here, the, the call was very obvious, but what we, we did have was this sort of low confidence call, uh, so again this was all confirmed by array CGA. And looking at this low confidence call, it was really quite nice. So, so I've just zoomed into that particular exon, and you can see uh, this is the call from the array. And the array, although it's very highly targeted, doesn't have 
probes, you know, there is a gap between the probes, and, and this causes this position. But you can see here this particular sample, um, the actual um, deletion was actually within the exon. So uh, that, we were quite pleased with that. Uh, in terms of what we're thinking, we're still um, thinking about um, how we're going to um, implement uh, the software. As, as I said before, we have this um, SciShore interpret package, which is really um, people like for the uh, for the array um, data analysis, and we have this sure seek interpret, and certainly you know we will we're going to add the CMV data onto this and r report out that way. Um, but we're also going to look at being able to port the um, NGS uh, CMV data into our site sure interpret, so people can look at the arrays and then also look at the um, uh, the uh, NGS CMV data as well at the same time, but it's still a work in progress. Um, this. So just to summarise, um, well, we got really nice results um, with the N with the use of NGS and targeted arrays to discern um, CMVs in both the familiar hypercholesterolemia genes and the DMD. Um, and we provide obviously microarrays, and we plan to provide um, the familiar hypercholesterolemia NGS panels um, for comprehensive detection of SMVs and CMVs. But we're, we're still aware we need more samples to validate. Um, and so we're really looking for you guys to help if anyone's got any um, familiar hypercholesterolema samples, particularly with um, CMVs in them. Um, we would um, love to run them if, if that was possible. Um, so if you can help um, to help us validate this, this panel for CMV detection, then um, please go to our booth at uh, 12.30. And we've also um, put this on a website as well, so uh, if you can't make the, the booth, then uh, please check out this website. If you've got samples, that'd be fantastic. And we can also show you our sort of prototype CMB um, detection, because you know we're at the stage where we're still working on that, and if you've got any inputs, uh, that would be really helpful. So ultimately, we plan to make, you know, Following more validation, we plan to make the um, familiar hypercholesterolemia panel available as a customised panel, so that um, you know we'll have the four core key genes. But then, if people want to uh, add their extra favourite genes, then we can do that as well. So, um, the acknowledgement of our, our team at OGT <laughs> who've worked on all this as a combination of um, both molecular biologists and biomedicine. And of course, Emery, who were very, uh, we worked uh, with to design the DMD array. And I think that's the end. And um, thank you very much. Have you got any questions?